Dixie here. I wanted to talk to you about the gear that I am carrying through the Sierras. My tent is a Z-Pax Duplex. I'm still using the same one that I started with. So clothing for this section during the day, I hike in the same thing I hiked in in the desert, which is this Columbia shirt. It's like a PFG fishing shirt, you know, it's um, ventilated. You can roll the sleeves down and, you know, cover yourself from the sun, which is still important in the Sierras, especially with the reflection of the snow. And then I'm hiking in the same uh, Patagonia shorts, barely baggies. At night, I'm sleeping in the same clothes, which this is the Arteryx uh, long sleeve shirt. Really like this because it's kind of like fuzzy on the inside and it's just, it's very warm. You can flip the neck up if you want and uh, zip it up, you know, the little collar there. Um, still sleeping in my smart wool leggings. For undergarments, I've got two pair of ex officio underwear and uh, sports bra. If it's windy or cold in the morning, which most of the time it is, I have uh, my rain gear. These are anti-gravity gear um, rain pants and rain tops. So uh, what I'll do is I'll put on my PFG shirt, the shorts, and then I'll just put those two things over it because if I sweat in them, you know, it's not going to ruin anything. And that keeps me from hiking in my sleeping warm clothes, which you want to keep dry at all costs. And then I've got my puffy again that I also had with me in the desert. Um, this is the Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer. For socks, I actually got down to just one pair of socks in the desert just to save a little weight. Um, and it didn't hurt my feet to hike in uh, the same socks over and over. But uh, for the Sierras, I've actually gone with um, a higher ankle. Uh, I was hiking in the lower ankle in the desert, but for the Sierras, I went for, with the higher ankle because the snow is actually uh, like chafing my ankle where it collects on the ankle socks. So this up higher, you know, it'll fall down and protect my ankle more. And then I went ahead and got these in Gingies. I'm going to try these out in the next stretch uh, because I've noticed that they're starting to form a little blister on my big toe. And I think it's just because my feet are constantly wet with the stream crossings all the time in the Sierras. And then I've got my smart wool, like thick socks that I sleep in at night. And as far as trail runners, I am using the Lone Peak. These are ultras, Lone Peak 3.0s. And I have swapped these sunglasses that wrap around the side. And they help protect your eyes from the reflection of the snow. And because I sent home my umbrella that I used in the desert uh, to protect my face from the sun, I went ahead and got this hat. That way I can use both hands, you know, for trekking poles to stabilize myself in the snow or my ice axe if the occasion calls for it. And I am still using my Tevas for my town shoes and camp shoes. These are really important to me through this section, especially because letting your feet air out after they have been wet all day is really important. And I keep all of these clothes that I don't hike in in the keeping fiber stuff sack that my sleeping bag came in. And my rain clothes I keep in the back pouch of my pack so that they're easily accessible. My pack is the Hyperlite Mountain Gear Pack, the 3400 Southwest. So for the world of electronics, I pretty much have the same thing I had in the desert portion. Uh, I've got my tripod that, you know, I am able to video with, and it's really nice for like time lapses. And this is the Joby Gorillapod with the iPhone or smartphone attachment. I've got my charger cord for my iPhone 7, which I'm videoing with right now. Uh, and then uh, charger cord for my two backup battery chargers. So this is the main thing I've changed in electronics for this section. Uh, I was using the 20,000 milliamp anchor charger for the desert. Uh, I don't think I ran out, but like maybe one time for the last half of the day. So because I'm going longer stretches, I decided to also send for my 10,000 milliamp. So I have 30,000 milliamp hours of charge here, um, which should get me through seven days easily. Uh, then the charger cord for that, and then this is just a double USB um, plug to where I can charge my phone and one of these guys at the same time. Still have the same headlamp. This has worked fine for me. Black Diamond, I believe it's the Storm. Uh, got my Cam Kicks remote. This is nice for if you want to get pictures of a group or something like that and you don't want to have to run because of, you know, the timer. Uh, you can just click it and make it start videoing or take a picture. If you're hiking solo and you want pictures of yourself, that works nice. Also, headphones and then uh, my Moment lenses, my macro lens and wide angle lens. And then I keep all of this stuff in just a big gallon Ziploc bag, uh, just, you know, as redundancy 
for waterproofing. Some extra odds and ends that I have. Uh, micro spikes, the ice axe that I'm using is the Corsa Camp, and I use this um, on Jacinto, so I've had a little bit of practice with it, but I will also be using this in the Sierras, and I have the little point protectors on it. For river crossings, there's a story of a guy who got swept away and lost his pack, got out of the river and about froze to death, had to run around in circles all night. Luckily, someone found him the next day by complete chance. So what I am doing is this GPS locator beacon. I am attaching it to my shirt through the buttonhole with this carabiner uh, so that if I get swept away and I lose my pack, I can still be located. And if I'm alone or whatever, you know, and I climb out of the creek. So I have to be conscious, but uh, at least if I'm able to get out of the creek and I'm away from my pack, somebody can still find me. So not a bad idea to attach this to yourself and not just have it on your pack. Using the same trekking poles, the Black Diamond, Alpines. Love these trekking poles. They have not slipped on me at all, which is very important, especially traversing snow and ice. You know, you want to make sure you've got a stable step. And these bad boys have worked wonderfully. I've got, just for recreational activity, a Tinkara rod. Um, it's like a fly rod. It's kind of a mixture between the two. It's the first time I've ever used something like this, but so far seems pretty cool. Looking forward to catching a trout with that. Got a little box of flies here, um, some extra line and stuff like that, and some fool to cook some trout on the fire, hopefully. And in the world of toiletries, I have high altitude sunscreen. Um, I'm also actually carrying lotion. I need to get some more of that. Uh, but because my skin is getting tender even though I'm using this, so it's nice to be able to put lotion on at night. Uh, baby powder for my hair. I just don't like it to be all oily. Uh, that's just the way that I am and this actually really helps a lot. Nail clippers and tweezers. Bobby pins to keep my hair out of my face. A little wispies, you know, in case it's really windy. The hat helps now too, but a razor to shave my legs. Norm puts in town my hairbrush and a little mirror hand sanitizer you can tell it looks grody it's been used hang that on my pack for easy access after using the bathroom or touching anything that a bunch of other hikers have touched in case they didn't use it when they went to the bathroom my short toothbrush and travel toothpaste and then uh toilet paper and baby wipes for the realm of foodware the msr pocket rocket stove bic lighter my aluminum grease pot that I have fashioned a pot cozy for, my titanium spoon, no limits, and my Sea to Summit collapsible cup because I just have to have coffee every morning while I eat my oatmeal. That's just the way I am. And I keep all of my food for this section. It's required to have a bear canister. So this is the Barricade Weekender um, by Wild Ideas you can see there. And it's really nice. Uh, it's carbon fiber and a lot of people are carrying the BV500, um, which is plastic. Uh, it's a lot cheaper. It is heavier, though. Um, but this one I've heard from Perk, who had both. Uh, this one's easier to, you know, get your food in and out of because it doesn't have uh, that, that lip like a lot of the other ones do. So I am now using my hanky that I earned uh, from Casa de Luna. You have to dance to earn it. So... Uh, this is the official PCT class of 2017 bandana. And my sleeping bag is the Z-Packs, and I've swapped to the 10-degree bag instead of the 20-degree because I was actually pretty cold in the 20-degree even when it was, you know, up in the higher 20s. And there is a neck knife from MT Knives, my buddy Patrick. And for water filtration, I am now down to using two smart water bottles, so my capacity is two liters of water and I am using the Sawyer squeeze that I just drink directly from and I actually replaced the white cap that comes on the end of this a pop cap and put a squirt smart water uh, lid on it that way um, I can hook it to one of these bottles when I'm in town and back flush my filter with that so I don't need the syringe that comes with the Sawyer to back flush and also uh, the cap that comes on the white uh, pop lid on the Sawyer, it, like the cover, it, it comes off. It doesn't stay attached like this one, so it's easy to lose it. And then you've got your part, your mouthpiece flopping everywhere and getting dirty. So this, you know, helps protect it when you throw your pack down. So I really like this and it, and it threads on there just perfectly, like it was made for it. And same thing with this onto the smart water. So I just put my dirty water in here and drink directly through it. And I don't have to take the time to stop and squeeze and filter and all that mess 
like a lot of other people do. It's very convenient just to, just to scoop and go. I also have a composition notebook. I've been writing in these since I was 14 years old, uh, so that's why I carry such a big notebook. I mean, it weighs a ridiculous amount. I really should just carry a small one, but I didn't want my journals for the long distance trails to be different than all the other ones I've written in. For first aid and repair kit, it's pretty bare bones. I've got some allergy medication. This used to be way more organized, but some aspirin, some Advil or ibuprofen, uh, and some diarrhea pills because diary on the trail is no fun. I always make sure I have some of those. Uh, some floss to use as floss and to sew things or, um, you know, repair things. And then I've got some duct tape with wrapped up on itself um, and a needle to use to sew with. And then some safety pins and one kind of larger band-aid and that is it. Well, I hope y'all found that helpful and, uh, you know, that way if you're planning a section hike or a through hike in the future, you know, you can kind of see the difference between like desert gear and Sierra's gear. So, and as my gear continues to change, you know, I'll be sure to cover those things. Uh, if you have any questions about this gear that I'm using in particular, feel free to comment below and I'll, you know, try to get to all the comments and, and answer any questions. Anyway, I'm going to go return these clothes now and we will see y'all next time.